Manzhou, two hours flight from Beijing, capital of Gansu province, but not our destination yet. From time to time, you might wonder where we all come from. This episode of Travel Lock, I take you to this particular place called Tian Shui, which translates to water from heaven. Here, we might find some answers for the big question. Of course, it's a Chinese answer. Tianshui is less than four hours drive east of Lanzhou on the northern part of the Yellow Earth Plateau. It is the hometown of Fuxi, the first emperor and the man credited in folklore with being the ancestor of the Chinese people. Numerous Neolithic relics had also been discovered around the area. Tianshui was also a leading trade center on the ancient Silk Road. It was a major stop on the way westward from Xi'an, and that's why many grottoes from the time are scattered throughout the area. One of them, called Mai Jishan, is a top tourist attraction and numbers among the four most celebrated grottoes in China. It's up there with the Dunhuang Grotto in northwest Gansu province. Chinese legends, Fuxi was believed to be the very first ancestor of the Chinese people, and he was also one of the greatest ancient emperors. He was born here in Tianshui. That's why we have his temple here. Now we are walking at the very center line of the temple, and this is usually only reserved for the emperor. You see, only the emperor can walk through this line right to the temple. Let's go. The temple was first built more than 500 years ago during the Ming Dynasty. Half a millennium may have passed, but the people here still remember Fuxi twice a year in elaborate ceremonies. This is really a nice place. I didn't expect. The temple is so well preserved. And it seems there are a lot of people coming over here to worship Fuxi. Well, you can light candles or incense over here. Hmm. Let's take a look at the main hall. The statue of Fuxi sits in the temple compound's central hall. Fuxi wears clothes made of leaves and has a pair of unusually bright eyes. Legend has it that his acute observation of nature inspired him to come up with eight diagrams that were believed to explain all the laws of the world. Take a look at the roof and you will see how the eight diagrams developed into 64 diagrams. They might contain all the secrets of the universe. But apart from being a philosopher, Fuxi was also a great inventor. It is said Fuxi developed the net, allowing people to catch fish and wild animals. It's also about this time that the domestication of animals takes place. 
The list of his achievements goes on and on, and his reign marked the dawn of civilization for the people of the time. But his most incredible claim to fame is his legendary status as the ancestor of the Chinese people. He apparently married his own sister Nuwa and started populating the planet. What Nuwa couldn't produce herself, she made from clay. Fuxi和女娲两个人，假设说真有这两个人的话，哈，他们生活在什么时候？其实呢，Fuxi和女娲，嗯，并不代表两个确切的，而是代表我国原始社会的氏族部落。呃，关于他们生存年代呢，呃
In today's tantric, people are still making carpets in the most traditional way, only on a much bigger scale. A lot of credit for the region's carpet must go to the sheep of northwest China. They produce quality raw materials needed for the products. The weavers have three different ways of making a carpet. This carpet factory in downtown Tianshui takes orders from all over China and the world. They're especially in demand in Europe and Asia. After all these years, Nobody has been able to come up with a machine that does a better job than a person. That's why the best carpets are still handmade. It's difficult to say which one is the most beautiful. I wish I could take them all back home. Another deep-rooted tradition in the area that also requires a deft touch is the shadow puppet show. The puppets are made from ox hide, so they are strong and durable. The art of waving these thin and translucent puppets into life is no less mysterious when you see how it's done. Now she's crying. Oh, Okay, wiping the tears. Okay. Oh, it's not easy. It's The ancient way of saluting each other. The sheer pleasure of watching a show like this is to enjoy the subtle movements of the characters. The world comes alive on the little stage. This small troupe has some 300 puppets that include all kinds of figures from modern and ancient times. The music that goes with it is called Qingqiang, a local opera well known in China for its